There is a ton of stuff to go over today regarding the RTX 50 series and then Intel's new CPU lineup. The other day we ended up covering all of the AMD stuff and I do want to clarify something very quickly. There is a few articles. I'm not getting off topic here. I did not say anything negative towards AMD as a company. It is the negativity. Pretty much in simple terms, what Computex was for NVIDIA was uh, talking about AI and Jensen pretty much selling their graphics cards to Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, whatever. The, the trillionaires of our world, the billionaires, not trillionaires, billionaires of our world. That's pretty much what the Computex was for, for NVIDIA. And it's because like Jensen wants jeff bezos to save more money because clearly he just needs more money nvidia geforce rtx 50 blackwell quote-unquote gpus to feature similar gpc count to lovelace this is just confirming this article right here these are the the, the updated specs and then this right here is just a driver update it's really all i need to say about this i'm gonna scroll down here to show you the fixed bugs show you the fixed general bugs the known issues the package contents and then what the, it's literally for every single graphics card. Let's just be honest. Intel Core Ultra 200 Arrow Lake S desktop CPU series reportedly launches in October. We have the P-Core, the E-Core, the GPU, the NPU, active titles, and pretty much in simple terms, it, it was, the event was really focused on artificial intelligence. And I don't, I don't mind it, dude. I think, I think artificial intelligence is just going to make everything better for everybody. You know, I just, I just. I just do. I'm not one of those people that think it's going to, whatever, take all our jobs. Even though it's going to, what's going to end up happening is we're eventually going to get to a point where we all have a universal base income. And then there's going to be people that literally just take a friggin' paycheck. It's kind of like social security. The universal base income is that like, it's kind of like the, the social security for people that are like, just they're disabled. They're mentally disabled, physically disabled, whatever. They just can't work. Um, and like, there's people that are just going to like take it and then do nothing with their life and sit on their couch and whatever, dream up worlds with their artificial intelligence helmets sitting on their face. There's some people that are going to do that. And then there's people like me that want to make more money because <laughs> it sucks to not have money. And if you don't, if, unless you hit the bottom of the, like I was at the bottom, dude, when I was 18, I got kicked out of my parents' house for two years. I was homeless the next like 10 years, pretty much was me like in this like dark rabbit hole of just like whatever I, i'm gonna get way off topic but i just i had a really i i'm one of those like stories of and i have proof of all of this by the way like from age 11 to about 28 years old my entire life was hospitals inpatient programs psych wards residential centers outpatient therapy being medicated to the point where I have zero energy. And then I eventually got into some self-help stuff. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next article. And I started understanding my, you know, I, this can be very useful to some of you. So I'm actually, dude, you can skip it if you want. Just skip through the timeline and you'll see the back to the article. Because I know this can be very useful for some of you that may be struggling with this. So if you're struggling, it doesn't matter if it's a mental disability. It doesn't matter if it's an addiction. It, it just doesn't matter. It's, it's just, a, it's understanding your brain. So there's the prefrontal cortex and then there's the, I call it the animal part of the brain or the reptilian brain. I forget what it's called exactly, but your reptilian brain is like where all your habits are stored, your cravings are stored, your routines are stored, your hab like all like the addictions and all of that stuff. So like, you ever just like, if you're struggling with an addiction or some habit, you're just like standing here and then all of a sudden you just like, you're just like your habit or craving or addiction, whatever it is, just like pops up out of nowhere. It's just like, poof, there it is. And if you don't understand that that's your reptilian part of the brain, that's doing stuff like keeping your heart beating without you like saying, oh, hey, heart beat, I need, to, I need you to beat to stay alive or like breathing. You just like, you just breathe or your blood is flowing through your body or whatever dude you see a hot girl it's not like you tell it to get hard it just does you know what i mean so <laughs> there's a good example for those of you that don't struggle with an addiction it just does it just happens <laughs> and i know if you're a guy it happens to all of us so anyway, it's just not it's not like you told it you're like oh hey a hot girl please get hard in the, in public and in, in the middle of walmart just here you go you're not saying that it just happens and then the prefrontal cortex is the you 
That's the physical version of you. You get to choose whether or not you act upon whatever is happening. That's actually a bad example. So the like, so let's say you're hungry and you want a piece of chocolate bar, but you're, you're overweight. You have the physical ability to get up and go grab that. The craving is the reptilian part of the brain. What it's doing is it's trying to keep you alive. So anyways, I'm going to get back to the article here because I know I got, I just, I really wanted to say that. I know that has nothing to do with the video, but I, for those of you that are struggling, you know what? Understanding that is what is got, got me better. So it might be of use to some of you that whatever. And this applies to everything like bipolar disorder, dude. I still struggle a lot with that. Like there's definitely times where I say some really stupid, like very impulsive things. And then there's also times where, you know, I go a couple of days without sleeping. I've seen that comment a couple of times in the, in the comment section where like I have some like serious bags under my eyes. It's, it's because I've been up for like two or three days. I don't take that medication. I can't, if it's not obvious, I have a lot of energy. It's because it's just, it just is dude. It's, I was blessed with a broken brain when I was born apparently. Um, but it's, it's actually working to my benefit right now. It's. There's not many, like every business person that I've come across and networked with over the past couple of years since starting up my own stuff, they're all like just extremely surprised at how quickly I have scaled and whatever. They're just, they're surprised by it. And it's because I have three days on top of your one day, you know? But anyways, let's get back to the article. I know I got off top. That's important, guys. That's not me just like trying to whatever. That's I, I really feel like that can be a value to some of you, even though it has nothing to do with the video. And I'm sure you guys are all looking at what I got to disable my camera. Hold on. I'm sure you're all looking at the charts as I'm whatever. It's not like I didn't just like show you anything except for the part where I said to skip it if you want. And I did that intentionally so that uh, you could literally use scroll the timeline and be like, yeah, he's he's done like not talking about what I wanted to hear. So that's right here. Again, I know I keep getting, they're, like they're all kind of talking and specifying their own thing. So right here, we got about a 14% IPC, the sky mount, whatever. So we're going to scroll down here. So the, oh my, my, my cookies are done. I heard it. I heard my microwave beep. So I'm going to have to keep these next things really quickly. So we got the breakthrough times 86 power efficiency, exceptional core performance, Pretty much. I mean, it's the same as every year, dude. It's whatever. It's like of whatever between 10 and 20% increase. However, I do understand that there's some of you that are going to want to see the specs, but you don't need me to read out the specs. They're literally on screen. You know what I mean? I mean, unless you really want to listen to me say everything for four minutes and then end up getting off topic because I can't hold my train of thought for more than two seconds. Wait. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say this is the only one with that. All right, so, and I, and again, I'm not, you know, I get that comment a lot. Oh, what's up with the unnecessary gameplay? Why do you have gameplay? Dude, what do you mean? Do you like all this tech news and you're just like a freaking number and name lover? Or do you actually like want it or do you enjoy this stuff so that you can freaking play a game? What do you mean, dude? Why am I using gameplay? It's a freaking PC channel. What? I just can't, I don't, I can't wrap my head around that comment. That's just, that's one that just blows me away. It's like, wait, hold up. So you're asking me why I'm including gameplay to like not have the entire video just be sitting here, me like head talking to you with like the most boring video that every other creator does. I'm trying to be different, bro. You know what I mean? Hello, if you want to watch the millions of other same videos that the millions of other creators copying each other make, then feel free to go watch one of those millions of videos. Or you can watch a different type of video. It's not my problem what you want to watch, bro. You know what I mean? You can go ahead and dislike the video and skip over to the boring guys. I don't care. <laughs> Gamers Nexus is different. He always... The, the cool thing about him... Is that he's so, he has like the, he has the type of brain where uh, he remembers like all the data. He just does. And like, he's able to, whatever, explain it very well. I can't do that. I can't, even if I scripted stuff, I would, when I like something, 
I get off topic because I want to talk about other things related to it. And I just, I, because if, if I don't talk about it, my mind won't shut up and it's going to, it's going to irritate me. <laughs> so anyways, we're getting back to this. All right. So my cookies are going to burn. So this is just the motherboards, the Z890, Azrock. It's kind of, so they're kind of like Acer. It's like the Acer, for those of you that know what Acer laptops are and stuff. From Like Acer used to be a potato crappy company that like sold stuff at Walmart and it was just junk. And now they're actually a really good company. It's kind of cool to to see that. And then Azrock's the same way. That's kind of cool right there. I wonder if that's RGB. That's pretty sweet. I like the gear icons. That's that's unique. I think that's sweet looking. Oh my goodness. Hold up. Boop, boop, boop. All right, now we get a better view. Tai Chief. Whatever that other stuff is. Oh, there's more over there. Oh, there's a little fella. Look at it. It's so puny. That one is too, and that one. They're all small ones. Anyway, let's go back here. So yeah, that, okay, that was the end of everything. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video, guys. I know I got a little bit off topic there in the in the but I do think that that could be a value to some because to be fair, dude, there's a lot of people that struggle with this kind of stuff now. Habits, addictions, cravings, whatever, routines. I feel like that could be a value to a lot of you. So I'm going to end the video. Peace.